Well, it's the first Saturday in December. We're overlooking Oswestry Street and it's been the day of the Christmas parade. There was a big sort of fairground and all sorts of chaos going on last night out in the town. And it's really started to make me think as I can hear the hustle and bustle of the town and cars coming and going in the distance about something that I heard many, many years ago that I've never really been able to shake. And that's something I read in a book by a chap called Osho, who had an awful lot to say about all sorts of stuff to do with Buddhism and philosophy of that sort of nature. And something that he said that I thought was quite interesting was about the nature of the importance of stuff. Now, December and the run-up to Christmas is all about stuff, as we know, unfortunately, in the modern world at least. And there is this beautiful thing that he wrote that just really absolutely spoke to me as a much younger chap than I am now. Oh, I'm old. And that was that you've got attitudes to stuff that are sort of missing the point where you could have the materialist who loves to get stuff, to work for stuff, to work, to get money, to buy stuff and counts all of his possessions as marks of success, as marks of their general advancement through life. The more stuff, the bigger our house, the better our car and all that sort of thing. And they put a very big importance on stuff in a very clear way such as that. Whereas you then have the Zen Buddhist monk, for argument's sake, who turns his back on stuff and doesn't want stuff. He says, no, stuff is bad, I don't need stuff, and has nothing, or very little at least, and he thinks he's escaping stuff. However, what Osho said was they're really just two different sides of the same coin, and they're all still focusing on stuff. The one is saying, no, stuff is bad, I don't want stuff, the other is saying, stuff, I love stuff, stuff's great. And they're missing the point that it shouldn't matter whether you have stuff or you don't have stuff. Happiness, calmness, stillness shouldn't be based on whether you're striving for things or you're acting against things. And I've always really loved that idea that happiness isn't real stillness, isn't real contentment, isn't real happiness if it's based on stuff because stuff can be gained and stuff can be lost and if your happiness is based on external factors especially physical things then it's only as valuable as you perceive or maybe even other people perceive those things to be for example in my own life i'm no happier or less happy now that i can dedicate an entire room to a model railway layout that i'm building than I was when I was living on a boat that had only 15 foot of indoor space. That's including the kitchen and the bathroom and everything in that. And that's because I don't place too much significance on having this stuff and having empty room and empty space. It doesn't add value to my life. It's something that I really enjoy doing, but do I enjoy this massively more than going out walking and being in the countryside? No, which is what I spent most of my time on the boat doing, heading out, being in beautiful places, and I still to this day try and spend as much time as I can doing just that. In a similar way, I can be sat here in this ridiculous get-up, to be fair, and know that this has no more value than the clothes that you normally see me wearing that are through in that wardrobe there, such as my desert camo top that I've been wearing for almost a decade and is still one of my most frequently worn garments. Another example, this shirt that I've just dug out of the wardrobe now is over a decade old, but I still wear it because it hasn't got holes, it still keeps me warm, why would I possibly not? In a similar theme, I could make a big investment in a fancy studio setup and not just have plain old banana boxes, but have a big LCD screen or something exciting like that. But the quality of the content of the videos wouldn't change because it would still be me in the midst of all of that, talking and saying and sharing the same things that I want to share with you all. So really, when it comes to stuff and possessions and what's important physical stuff to have, I personally feel, and certainly I think the more and the longer that I've spent on dry land with the room and the space to get more stuff, that the only stuff that's truly important is having food and drink and somewhere safe and dry and warm to be. 
So if you've got food and shelter, I think you're already doing pretty well for yourself. And anything on top of that, rather than being a massive thing to strive for, is just the icing on the cake. Or, to some people, the distraction from whatever they view as the real world or real things of importance. I just really thought that that might be an interesting thing to share.